What's up guys? Um, I'm back. I know it's been a long time. Um, I have been grafting it, just that um, I haven't really had time to make videos. So I thought maybe I'd get back into it now. So um, this is going to be a little Packers recap. I'll just get right into it. Um, showing off with the 4x6s, we got Josh Hawkins. I don't think he'll make the roster, but he's fast. Um, BJ McBride, really cool dude. He might make the roster. I hope he does. One two, three, and he did a card as well, um, he really liked the cards, so I, I gave him one, because I wasn't going to have him sign all six, um, Mackinton Dorlot, this dude went to UNI, um, he was, he was a pretty good corner there, but he had a really bad senior year, and that's kind of why he didn't get drafted this year, um, he also threw in a, he, uh, signed a card as well. Um, Kentrell Bryce is a safety. He did one, that's a really bad glare. One, two, three. Cool dude. Um, respect him a lot. He also did a card as well. Um, this guy's really cool too. Um, he, I don't know if you guys remember this, but like a couple years ago, he like, he actually threw a punch at a, at a referee in a college game and, um, he got like suspended. Um, so that's a re that's a big reason as to why he did not get drafted. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if he worked his way onto the roster. He's a hard worker. That's Brian Price on two. Ed Williams. He was on the practice squad most of the season last year. And he was on a, our training camp roster. He's a cool dude. He probably won't make it. Joe Callahan. This guy's from a D3 college. It's called Wesley. I've never heard of it. Um, he was nice. Nice guy. Mitch Henry, he's really, really weird. Like, he, um, he just by the looks of him, he does not look like a football player. He looks like a hunter or something. Like, he is, he does hunt, but, like, he just doesn't seem like a football player. Um, and he's really weird about things. You call him over to sign, and he, like, he doesn't talk. And he's one per, um, I mean, that's all I mean. That's Mitch Henry. He only does one for some reason. Um. Rick Lovato, our long snapper, he did two. I have an 8x10 two coming up. He's got a really nice autograph. I mean, he takes his time. Josh Walker, uh, reserve offensive guard and or tackle. He played both. One, two, three, four. And that's it for the 4x6s. Um, let's go on to the cards here. We got Demetrius Anderson on one, two, three, four, five, six. He's cool. He signed everything. Um, he's good, but he's got some knee issues, so I don't, I'm not sure if he'll make the team. Casey Pierce, former Detroit Lion, on one, two, three, four, five, six. Also a really cool dude. Um... Chris Banjo, he's like a special team safety, and he gets he gets some snaps every once in a while. Um, um, three guards. Peter Mortel, really, really, really cool dude. Um, this guy knows me on a first name basis. I uh, chase I chased him I chased on his car um, because I really, I really want to get his autograph because I feel like he'll replace Massey. And um, he liked the cards, and I told him that I made them. And he, um, I gave him one, and he, uh, what he, he's just a really cool dude. Um, so, he remembered my name, he had me on Snapchat, he's a really cool dude. Uh, next, he was our, this guy was our sixth round draft pick last year, Christian Ringo. Uh, he'll make the team this year, I bet you. Uh, he's a good player. He's just a little undersized, that's the only problem with him. And then Dayton, uh, he always personalizes, but he's nice for the most part. Uh, he did one of three. That, that's it for the cards and four by sixes. Um, I've got quite a bit, quite a bit of eight by tens done. So I'll go through those now. We got uh, Matt Rotherham, who honestly I think will be the starting guard in this league someday. I just don't know where. Um, he did one, and he did another one there. Uh, different signature than last year. He kind of, it kind of, I don't know. He kind of. 
emphasis emphasizes the the mat more. It just used to be M Rotherham 74. So I mean, that's kind of cool. He signs all the time if you ask him to. I probably have like upwards of 15 autographs of this guy. So hopefully he becomes something good someday. Another Christian Ringo. It's kind of blurry, but there's really no good pictures of him. I love the background though. Uh, long, you, saw, you saw this one already, but Long Snapper, Rick Lovato. This is an 8x10. Um, he replaced Brett Good. He's a cool dude. He'll be our Long Snapper for a long time, I betcha. There's Peter Mortel again. Like I was saying, really, really cool dude. Uh, Kennard Backman. He's also a 6th round draft pick of ours last year. Uh, I like this photo. It looks better in person. I don't know why it's... Yeah, see there? That looks better. Um, he's cool. Signs all the time. Uh, reserve offensive guard Lane Taylor. He's kind of weird. I mean, he's cool, but he's really quiet about things. Just, I don't know. Joe Thomas, super cool dude. If you call him over, he'll most likely sign. Um, he, he might start at middle linebacker, but I kind of doubt it. Um, Probably be like Jake Ryan and Sam Barrington. Uh, Chris Banjo on the 8. Love this photo. That's why I got it signed. And then I got those three cards like that one too. Uh, John Crockett. Um, our third, he's our third string running back. He played really good last year um, against the Lions, I believe. He came in because Lacey and Starks were just playing terrible. He came in and played pretty well. I hope he gets a decent amount of snaps this year. Um, a little bit about his autograph. That says Taz. Um, his nickname is Taz, like the Tasmanian Devil, because of his running style. Um, if you ever watch this guy play, like he's constantly shuffling his feet. He just looks super, super into it. Um, super um, hyper. So that's why his nickname is Taz. He's a cool dude. He signs all the time. Justin Perillo. Uh, he played pretty well last year. He got a couple touchdowns. This picture is him scoring against the Lions. Um, I'd be shocked if this guy got cut just because of how well he played last year. Um, I bet you he'll be a he'll play decently this year. I like him a lot. Um, only had one thing for him to sign though. Uh, next we have J.C. Treader, reserve center. He'd start on just about any other team. He's he's capable of starting. It's just that we have Corey Lindsley who's like a top ten center. So um, this guy's really good. He's really um, versatile too. He can play guard, tackle, center. Even long snap. He's a good player. Um, this is one of my favorite photos. We got J. Ron Elliott on too. He played really good last year. Um, he's going to be buried on the depth chart this year just because of um, the drafting of Kyle, Kyler Fackrell. But um, really excited to get these two done. Of J. Ron. He's a cool dude. Uh, now we're going to start to get into the better stuff. The more like the more household names. Uh, I got Blake Martinez from Stanford on two. He was our fourth round draft pick this year. He might start. Um, super cool dude. I don't ever see him shutting it down. He's probably gonna sign the rest of his career. Um, Aaron Murkowski. He's gonna be our starting fullback this year because John Coon's gone. So glad to get this. He signs quite a bit, but. Um, but yeah, he's a good good run blocker. It'll be fun to watch him this year. Um, these are probably my second favorite autographs of the day. Got Trevor Davis. He was our fifth round pick this year. He's a wide receiver from Cal. Uh, this dude's really... F I love this photo. Um, shout out to John. He's an Apple Zen grapher for uh, trading that to me. Um, this photo's really cool. I love it a lot. Um, but... I just think... I think, uh, I think he'll be a fast receiver. He might not do much his um, rookie year. But uh, once Devontae's contract is up, I think he'll get a decent amount of snaps. So, interesting to see how he fares out. Um, third round pick, Kyler Fackrell. This guy is really, really nice, but he's really, really quiet. So, I feel like he could be like a Jordy and Clay and shut it down in a couple years. I don't know, but um, really nice guy. He signed in the worst worst spot possible, but um, he's... Um, He's an interesting dude. He's 25 already, so I mean, he's kind of already at his peak. So I don't know. Hopefully, he'll get a chance to start soon now that Peppers is getting pretty old. Um, but cool dude. 
Next we have uh, Sam Barrington on two. He's our starting middle linebacker. He was on the IR last year. Um, this guy's really nice. He signs up. If you, if you can tell who he is by face, um, he'll come over and he'll sign. So, he'll be starting this year. Glad to have him back. Starting center, Corey Lindsley. This guy had a really good rookie year, but um, kind of kind of a little bit of a setback last year. But our whole whole line was bad, except for TJ Lang and Josh Sitton last year. So, I mean, um, I, thought, I think he's a top 10 center. And... Uh, People say he's getting a little a little harder, but he's generally pretty nice. I've got him 10 plus times, so that's Corey Lindsley. Um, next, Jason Spriggs. He was our second round pick. He'll be very good player. Um, super fast for an offensive lineman. He runs a really quick 40, and I think he'll be uh, replacing Bakhtiari next year. I kind of hope he does, just because Bakhtiari is very overrated. He gets a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, false start calls, so I feel like Spriggs will be uh, hopefully better in that regard. So interesting to see how he plays. Not this year, but in upcoming years. Um, Pro Bowl guard Josh Sitton. He signs a lot, but he's really weird about it. He always he always asks people that like looks like that um, people that know what they're doing. Essentially, he says um, he goes like, "Hey, I've made time for you before." So I told him like I'm from Milwaukee, so um, obviously not, but. Uh, he has, like, last year, so that'll probably go up on the wall, because Josh Sitton's a really underrated guard. And then last, well, not lastly, but this is it for the 8x10s, we got Ty Montgomery. Um, he's, for those who don't know, he's our third round pick last year. He'll probably be our third or fourth receiver this year, just because we have a lot of depth there. Um, but he's going to be a good player. He's fast, good kick returner, got good hands. I just hope he gets uh, healthy soon, because when he does, he'll be a... He'll be a force. So that's really it for the the eight by tens. Um, I got like seventy two autographs in total, and then I have two more I have to show you guys. This is kind of like the better stuff per se. We got a uh, Ted Thompson here. Um, he's our general manager. Um, he's like he might be a Hall of Famer someday just because he's drafted Rogers and Matthews and stuff like that. So I I said why not get him on a blank? And then lastly, my favorite autograph of the day. We got Randall Cobb on an 11. Um, gave me a really shortened sig. I, I tried to plead with him all day, saying I was from Milwaukee, um, and he just wasn't having it. But um, he came out at the end of the day and walked right over. So I was shocked to get that. It's a really nice photo. I like it a lot. So, I mean, that'll be up on the wall soon. And yeah, that's about everything. Um, sorry 